guys, 14 days out. Been, uh, we've been training here in uh, Team Tour Camp for a week now. So today we're going to hit hamstrings to get back. Um, maybe as you've seen in the videos, especially yesterday, we're still training heavy. Never trained as heavy uh, in a prep that we've done together. So I'm extremely happy with, uh, with the strength and the, and the energy we still have, which is due to the more calories. I want to keep it on that. Uh, that road. Um, I'm going to try to have some heavy sets, which is the most important thing right now to take advantage of all the carbs we have to keep the muscle full. Um, sometimes even train a little heavier than you do in the off season because of the focus and the energy as right now. So we're going to do some basic movement heavy and then again one third of the training will be more intensity and switching up contraction type a little bit. Let's get started. Four sets of five. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Slow down. Let's go. One. Two. Come on, right here. Three. Four. Back. Negative. Negative. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Very good. Woo. A little more up, come on. Yes, keep going. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Shit. Now just the top. It's not heavy, come on. Stop and go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, three more. One, two, and three. Nice. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Good. Let's go. Come on, up. One. Up, two, come on, six reps, three, four, five, one more, hold it on the way down, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold, 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 hold. stay right there, stay right there, five, four, three, two, one, shit, Don't rush it, don't rush it. Dude. Three, four, five, yeah, right there. Three back, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, do two negatives. To go down, negative, negative, negative. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And down again, and hold it again, come on. Yes, yes, yes. And now you're doing just partial up here, just partial, five, one. One, come on, two, contract, three, four, and five. Good job. Shit. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. No, no, don't rush it, don't rush it. I'm here. Okay, come on, no more. I'm just doing one set like this here. Fight to the pain. Okay. The pain is good. Yes. <sighs> come on here. Slow. Don't fly, don't rush it. Don't wait. Don't go away from the pain. Don't go away. Come on, don't go away. One more. Yes. Come on. Yes, slow, slow. Last call out, you have flex. Last call out, you have flex, right there. It's about details. Come on, come on. And slow up. Slow up. Slow up. Slow up. Slow up. Nice. Come on. Ah. Stretch a little bit, the hands. Just one little stretch here. Okay, let's go. Squeeze. Okay, go away from your body. No, lay down on the floor with your chest. Yes, come on. Away from your body. Touch and up. Come on. Stop. Up. Stop. 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 Away from your body. Stretch out your legs. Yes. Come on. Stretch out your legs. Come on. Come on. One more. Stretch out the legs. Stretch out. Up. 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 Okay. Dumbbell down. Stay right there. Come on. Push. Stay down with your chest here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, keep going, keep going, just one second, just one second, one second, come on, yeah, keep contracting, keep contracting, keep contracting, keep contracting, yes, yes, four, three, two, and one, yes, sir. Guys, it was uh, 30 minutes. No, not even. Not even. 20, 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. But it's intense. Well, the hamstring is a uh, is a muscle which is not used to doing a lot of work because it's a, it has a totally different function than the quadricep. The quadricep is a resistance muscle, so you're probably going to have to do much more work. Hamstring is not a it's not a muscle due to the fiber type, which you can do a lot of volume because you just empty it. So the strength was here. I took advantage of that and we switched from using very heavy weight on partial reps to doing as many reps with heavy weight as we can in a cluster system. We did uh, concentric contraction, we did negative contractions, we did some isometric work, some stabilizing work where you have to, he has to contract the inside of his hands holding the weight and we finished out with some blood work so all the functions that a muscle has we worked it as as concentrated as possible in order not to empty the muscle but to stimulate and two weeks out from a show being able to do this type of SST workout the hamstring can even grow into the show because every every aspect of a training is in there weight intensity contraction variable 
And that's all we need. 25 minutes. We did the job. So, uh, one question. I, uh, I asked actually, actually I asked you before, but hey, like, you know, how, 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 how much fatigue you should feel after training, right? Like, me, like right, to me, like training is like a fatigue like, like this after training. For me, that was, that was my training, but what do you think about it? Sometimes, depending on how you feel, there are days where you just have that 2-3% off that you can feel you cannot give your, your, your all. You may be used the same way, but you can see that when you work out, you're just missing that last repetition, you're just not 100%. Then, obviously, in order to stimulate 100%, Either you stop working out, you come back the next day, or you're going to have to do more volume. Because the quality of the work, that's the most important. It's not how much you work, but the quality. It's the, the information the muscle gets. Today, the quality was extremely high. We did everything I asked you to do. And during the set, I even added some things, because I saw that you were right in there. You were feeling everything better. So, there's a difference between getting fatigued and stimulating the muscle. The less, the less work you have to do in a workout, the better it is. Because your overall system, your central nervous system, doesn't get drained. So the muscle has immediate ability to recuperate and to grow from, from your training. And that's what you want to do, It's quality work. It's not the race of who trains the longest. Okay, that's annihilating. Remember Lee Haney used to say that back in the 80s? Stimulate, don't annihilate. But, in order to do that, you're going to have to make your workout very intense and it has to contain a lot of different variables. You cannot just do the normal sets, otherwise you cannot work out in 20 seconds. And also another thing is force reps. We did pretty much force reps. You cannot abuse them. You have to always have to see that the force reps are quality reps. You have to control. I can help you, but you're still feeling a contraction. And that's what we did today. It's not about how much but how good you work out. Like I told you before, you can, you can read a page and not understand anything. Or you can concentrate and understand everything the first time you read it. That's about focus. Today, every rep you did, you understand. So I don't have to make you do it again because your muscle understands exactly. So that's, that's my philosophy. That's very important. Every time before set, Patrick always explained me why you why we do this you know how, how many this and that and the why so I understand the purpose of each exercise each set each lap so that's very important which is uh, you know my uh, brain you know understand so my brain is gonna you know tell muscle do this do that because of uh, his explanation that's very important and, so, uh, and very important is also you don't have to know when you start the workout what you want to do. You know, in bodybuilding always say, you have a game plan, which is okay. But the best way to do it is, do the workout as you feel. And then you have to see what kind of focus you have, how much energy you have inside the muscle. And as the workout goes along, you decide what to do. If you decide before what to do, you're just deciding upon some theoretical right. approach that you think is right. right. But at your level, we have the Olympian two weeks. We have to change the game plan as the workout goes along. It's not because you have always done things that you have to do it the same way. But it's about detail. So you have to really learn to read your body. Not use it as an excuse. Use it as a positive. And then just change the workout, make it more intense or longer as you go through the workout. That's the tip for today.